brief description of how I do live coding in the classroom. So I teach, I currently am teaching two classes. I'm teaching an undergraduate class on web programming, um, which is mostly actually focused on end-to-end -end web systems. So a little bit of front-end, but mostly back-end stuff. And uh, I teach a graduate class on um, kind of dynamic programming languages and using Python as a case study. So in both of those classes, a lot of my lecture is writing code either in a terminal or in a text editor, and then I stop occasionally. And because I have a, um, a Microsoft tablet computer, I can actually stop and turn on ink mode and write over my code. I can draw diagrams. I can draw flow charts. I can also, you know, for web programming, for example, the edit run cycle is you write some code, switch to your browser, reload it, and maybe open that browser console to inspect elements or to debug. And the nice thing about having a, a mixed modality of pen and typing is that I can type and show real code, but then I can also stop and step back and do the writing as though I was on a on a blackboard. And that's I think that's really really cool for something like computer science where you really do need to see see code. And you know, Khan Academy has done really well with um, pure ink, right, which is a black background and just pure drawings. But I think for computer science, I imagine pure drawings would be really hard because you have to tediously write out all the code. So that's that's the extent of my. Um, I've been really happy with this live setup where I'm coding and also drawing with ink. And I think that's pretty unique. And I would encourage more educators to do that if they have um, tablet-like computers. So just to clarify, you're uh, you're actually drawing in the context of the ink, so you can you can circle a line of code and say, oh, you know, here's what's going on on this line. And exactly. Yeah. So everything is, you know, basically the drawing app is just an overlay on top of the desktop. So you see all the real things. So the only downside of that is you can't scroll, right? As soon as you scroll, all your drawings get off. So you have to stop it at a point and then move. And the other thing is, I mean, this is for all screencaster or coding is just you have to have your fonts be really big. Uh, that's a generic tip. You know, make your fonts larger than you would ever expect. <laughs>